So this is the um, sixth, seventh, eighth problem. This is the eighth problem on T4 practice assessment. And we're going to try and sketch a graph from this equation. So I know a couple of things. I know uh, I have a, a midline at negative 15. And I know it's uh, stretched by 4, so it's offset by 4 in those directions. So um, if I add 4 to that, that's going to give me a negative 11. If I subtract 4 from it, it's going to give me a negative 19. So basically I have this kind of frame that my sinusoidal is going to fit inside. Uh, next thing I notice is that it's cosine. So I know cosine usually starts at a, always, uh, starts at a max, doesn't really start at a maximum. I can start it at a maximum, that's where the zero usually is at. Uh, comes down, hits, back up, back up. So there's a cosine curve. So now let's get some um, some x values in here. So I know my typical period for cosine is 2 pi. And this 1 third is slowing it down. It's making it happen a, a third as fast. So if I go 2 pi divided by a third, that's, that's 6 pi. So the period of this function is 6 pi. So it goes from 0 to 6 pi. And then I can split that into those fourths. So um, Half of 6 pi is, is 3 pi. Half of 3 pi is 3 pi over 2. And this is going up by 3 pi over 2 each time. So if I come, uh, if I go 3 pi over 2 more from 3 pi, that's, that's 9 pi over 2. Notice what I'm doing is just I'm just going like plus 3 halves pi each time. So 3 halves pi, 6 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2, 12 pi over 2. And, and these two are just reduced. So that takes care of that part. Now the shift, this is shifted left pi over 2. So all of these get shifted to the left. So I'm going to subtract pi over 2 from them. So 0 minus pi over 2 is negative pi over 2. Uh, 3 pi over 2 minus pi over 2 is 2 pi over 2, which is which is pi. Right? That was, that was 2 pi over 2, and the 2 is reduced. Uh, 3 pi, that's the same as a 6 pi over 2. So 6 of them minus 1 of them, that's 5 pi over 2. 9 pi over 2 minus pi over 2, that's that's 8 pi over 2, which is uh, 4 pi. 6 pi is, is 12 pi over 2, minus 1 is going to give me 11 pi over 2. So there's my x values that fit in these heights. So this first point then would be at negative uh, pi over 3, negative 11, right? This x value with that height. And then this next, this point right here will be uh, pi, negative 15. This one will be 5 pi over 2, negative 19. This one will be 4 pi, negative 15. And the last one will be 11 pi over 2, negative 11. Yeah. And there, there's my sketch of it right there. 